hopefully we'll find some hungry fish. Hungry fish. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing, y'all. We are fishing right off of Tampa Bay. We got Captain Chris Camps with us again this year and uh, kind of took him out of his element a little bit. He's more of an inshore tarpon guy, the inshore redfish, snook trout kind of guy, but we heard the kingfish were in. I said, hey man, let's go do some kingfish. So, hey, here we are. We're gonna see if we can show you a couple. It's rod bending, drag screaming action. I'm in, buddy. <laughs> You're Thank in, you. Huh? Yes, sir. Well, I'm gonna click us in gear. Just barely get us going. I know on the East Coast, I like to do about three or four mile an hour. I'm not sure what it is over here. Here, we typically just almost bumping it in and out of gear. Yeah. Just keeping the baits apart, keeping them swimming. You don't want them skipping on the surface or going too fast. We got something coming got up. Got a nervous bait. Like. Boom, there's one. There he is. There, there he is. is. Fish on, Fish baby. on. There's yeah. one. Yes, sir. Nice bike. What a take. <laughs> what I tell you, dude? That was awesome. As soon as they hit, straight up in the air. Twice, that guy. Might want to bring that one in. Yeah. I don't know. Woo! Oh, Why do you think they call them smokers, huh? Nice. Holy cow, look at that. Looked like a decent fish, too. Yeah, it did look pretty decent. Well, that didn't take long, did it? No, sir. First bait's <laughs> out. I love it when that happens. Oh, you got to love kingfish, man. They, once they're in, they're in. And he wanted it, too. He hit it once, came up a second time, blasted it. Did you see it in his mouth when he was oh, sitting yeah. on it? Oh, he yeah. Oh, yeah. chomping on it. Yes, that is sir. the coolest That's thing awesome. with kingfish. I love it. I hope to see a 40 pounder on the end of the line, but I don't think he's gonna Listen, quite he was all he was every bit of 25, 30. It looked like a solid fish. Well, he's good for the smoker. <laughs> <laughs> so we brought you out of your element just for a minute. A little bit, as you know, I specialize more inshore doing the snook redfish trout, tarpon near the beach and stuff, but uh, but yeah, it's nice. When the kingfish are in, you yeah. can come out and get them on. You do a 20 pound kingfish your first oh, yeah. drop with a bait. Coming at us now. I got the hook right, uh, right there. Yeah, Second I didn't one want to touch it until we could see him. You know how it is. Oh, you already saw him. He was 10 foot in the air. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there he is. We got color. We got color. Yes, sir. A little green color. So you're saying you want to invite this guy home for dinner? Oh, yeah. I like it when you don't have to measure him. <laughs> Ooh, you're only allowed to keep two these days. Yeah, that looks like a nice one. Yeah, he's got the... Oh, yeah. You're doing a death roll. On the other side? Yeah. I think we'll invite him. Let's see if we can get him right in the head. He is spiraling. One kingfish, brother. Yes, sir. Nice gaff job. Captain Chris Camps right off of Tampa Bay. Even if it's not in his own element, he'll still put you on some kingfish when they're in. Love it. Cool kingfish. Now, now, right. Oh, watch your yeah, fingers. Yeah, let me get my hands out of here. Those things to open you up. Yeah, he's got some choppers for sure. These guys don't mess around. He destroyed that bait though, didn't he? Yeah, he did. That's awesome. 20 feet in the air. Let's get him on ice. On the ice, baby. Good job, brother. Beautiful. Let's get him in the box. You know, it's not a matter of if it's going to happen out here. It's like when it's going to happen. That's the way it's been today. Can't beat it. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still sitting out here in the Tampa Bay Channel. I'm going to show you how we're rigging these things right here. Eagle Claw makes a great little kingfish rig that's pre-rigged. And all I do is pin that one into the side. That's the stinger hook. And I go right into the nose with the front hook. It's a real simple, simple rig tied with a little swivel right there to 40 pound test. And uh, basically all you want to do is toss them out. Uh, yay far. Stick it in Rodney's mouth and let Rodney do the work. Is that that bait right there? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's something just come up. Oh! Come on, baby. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There he is. There he is. Came back a second time. You gotta love that. Oof. So, uh, like I said, Blair, I heard the kingfisher in town. I heard the kingfisher in town. <laughs> you saw it, I had the bait in the water more than two seconds and it got eaten by a kingfish. <laughs> and all we did, we came out here and I'm gonna give props to my camera guy, Adam. He runs a boat and he keeps it there in clear water. And uh, he was out here the other day. Okay, right? 
You're gonna go like this. Yes, Adam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he said the kingfish are in like crazy, so. Yeah, that's the word on the street. People have been catching them. They started pushing up into here as soon as this bait started showing up and the water got into the 70s and man, they are here. We've that's been like uh, Kobe at 68 degrees. They got the magic temperature. They know, you know, they, they know what uh, they know what they like. They follow those bait schools up here. We've been they're just crushing the thread fin. The thread fin doesn't stay in the water for more than a couple minutes before he gets eaten. Oh look out. Ooh. This might be a little bit bigger yeah, than my mother too. Got some shoulders on us. Ooh, come on, baby. This guy's staying down. Yeah, this might be a little bit more of a grown one. How do we snag him in the tail? Oh, yeah, we got color. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one there. That's a good size fish. I think I'll take that one home to Shane. Yeah, this one is going to be invited home for dinner. Yep, and that'll give us our two. We get our limit already, huh? <laughs> Three baits and we got our limit. <laughs> I don't know, we can let this one go. I don't care. I got one to smoke. I don't have to give one to Shane. You tell me. He looks like a good one. Were well, they all good? Some yeah, good better yeah, than the other. Uh, go ahead and stick him. That's a good size eater there. I didn't want to get too much into meat. That's the guy. This guy's probably going to get a little, a little blood day. A little bloody. That's a good fish. Yes, sir. Now, any of y'all that have never caught a kingfish, this guy right here, when you see smoked kingfish dip in the restaurants, this is the dude you're eating right here. And I tell you what, those teeth are the sharpest <laughs> next to a wahoo or a barracuda. It. It's like just saw blades. Beautiful kingfish. Beautiful kingfish. And the size limits are 24 inch minimum on these guys. And look at those. Fork teeth. length, so 24 inches to the fork, two per person. To the fork, look at them teeth. Man. Now when you measure them to the fork, that is the fork right there. You want to measure from here to the tip of the head. And that one is a perfect, perfect size. Good eater. Good eat. Perfect eating size. Nice, brother. That's it. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more Addict to Fishing. Captain Chris camps out of his element catching kingfish. Do it. <laughs> I will see you. <laughs> kingfish is on the menu, huh? Got a couple in the box. You smoking those up for the gang tonight or what? I like to smoke them for at least four hours. Oh, so. yeah. All right. Tomorrow. Well, you can't get much easier kingfishing than this. All we're doing is popping it in and out. If you can see, we got a green marker over to our left. We got a red one over to our right, which means we're kind of facing east. Red right return. So all we're doing is kind of hanging right here in the channel. You find a good bait ball on the uh, hummingbird, and bingo, you got fish on. Yeah, we've had fish jumping in the distance here. Spanish mackerel skyrocketing on some baits. Baits haven't lasted in the water too long today, have they? No, they haven't. So you got your ticket, what, five, six years, something like that? I've been full-time now, Blair. It's going on my sixth year. Yeah, and man, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's the best office in the world. Yes, it is. Unless Mother Nature doesn't want you out there. Yeah, there's a few days that, uh, <laughs> that she wins. We've got to pick our battles at times, but fortunately here in Florida, we've got more better days than not, so the fishing's been great. Oh, I got a oh, hit, got a hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There he goes. There he goes again. Let Rodney the rod holder nice. take him. Oh, he's smoking it. Oh, he's going. Oh, that's this could be a good one, Blair. This could be a good one. And I got smoke too, so I'm to just rip my bait Did off. You? Might want to take me out of gear. Yeah, let's do that. Holy moly. Easy there, buddy. Headed to Texas, it looks like, huh? Going to Mexico. <laughs> You can just spot lock us there if you want. Spot lock us. Spot lock. And we are stuck. And you hear on shows when people say, spot lock it, spot lock it. It's the feature that Minn Kota's got on there that's an electronic anchor. It's got a GPS right in the head of the trolling motor and uh, locks onto the satellites and keeps you within about a five foot radius. One of the coolest features of a trolling motor I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, and it helps us so much, especially when we're tarpon fishing. We don't have to worry about throwing that anchor ball and chasing the fish down. If the fish move off, we can just get off the spot lock, move to where they are, set ourselves in position there. So we've been here about 30 minutes and three <laughs> kingfish. <laughs> we can't hardly get a, a decent drift or a decent troll here before getting smashed by a kingfish. Seems to be doing pretty decent. Yeah, right now, huh? listen, let's see. This guy took a lot of line on his first run. This guy just did a run under the boat. Oh, there's some color. Oh, yeah. Deep color. 
That's a good sized fish, Blair. That is just a stubborn one. Just a stubborn one. Come on, keep coming this way. Not quite ready just yet. Let Rodney the rod holder hook him and let the drag tire him out. Wow, that is a good fish. You sure you don't have a tuna? <laughs> <laughs> Remember one time a tuna turned into a 90 pound wahoo wow. off of midnight lumps. Leader in the guides. Come on over this way, dude. Oh yeah. The stinger hook got him. Aye. Right. Still a good fish. Still a good fish, yeah. <laughs> That's a caught fish there, That's brother. That's a caught fish. Let's get close. <laughs> nice. And he's free. What a beautiful fish. King mackerel. I mean, right, they ready? got shoats just like a tuna too. Like they, oh yeah, they these things them. are built for speed. Their fins are just built nothing but for speed. Go ahead and send him off into the deep. See you later, buddy. Woo! Good nice fish, fish brother. Blair. Nice work, my man. You gotta love that, man. Oh, Fishy five, I got nice. you. <laughs> and there's a rig. This one here is a little bit different rig than what we were using. This has got a single hook up front and a big treble hook in the back. That fish got caught only because of that stinger rig. Did its job. Absolutely. What do you say we re-rig? Let's do it again. And see if we can get another slimer. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back. Captain Chris Camps once again right off Tampa Bay on a beautiful day in the springtime. Got to love it. Can't beat it. Let's do it, baby. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm going to show you what Captain Chris and I were out there using today. A very, very simple rigs. We started off using the eight footers and we ended the day using the eight footers. 30 pound test Seaguar Smackdown and this stuff is so thin you can pack on enough where I'm not even worried about a kingfish spooling me. Oh, he's smoking it. Oh, he's going. Oh, that's, this could be a good one, Blair. This could be a good one. And I got smoked too, so I'm to just rip my bait Did off. You? you can tighten down the drag enough and uh, basically put the heat on them if you need to. Holy moly! Easy there, buddy. We were using 40 pound test cigar fluorocarbon leader and I got a long piece on here just to absorb the shock of a kingfish when he comes up and hits your bait. Boom, there's one. There he is. There, there he is. is. Fish on, Fish mate. on. He can hit it so hard that it'll actually just, it'll break everything sometimes. But let me show you the rig we were using. And I actually went to Dick's last night in Lakeland and picked up the supplies and uh, twisted up a couple of liters just to show you what I like to use when I'm out there. Basically got the Eagle Claw. These are the number four treble hooks along with the 30 pound test barrel swivels and everything right here to make these rigs up was less than eight bucks. So if you ever make it down to Tampa Bay, make sure you give Captain Chris Camps a call. He will do everything he can to put you on fish, whether it be inshore or offshore. Also want to give a special shout out to Central Marine. They do a fine job rigging our Skeeter boats. And if you ever want to give one a try, make sure you give them a call. They can put you in one and uh, sell you one. Remember one thing though, every fishing season starts right here at Dick's. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. Fish Whoa, on, fish, fish on. on. Fish off. Oh, we tried to hit it again. He was after this. There he is. There fish he is. On, baby, nice. Right there. Good job. <laughs> yeah, sight casting the kingfish. <laughs> come back. Why is having that fish? Oh, I got one after me, too. Oh, no. A double. I'm just trying to reel my bait out of your way. Might have to let it sit for a minute. This is a big kingfish here. Yeah. You see the size of that one? Yeah, he was good. <laughs> Oh, and there he goes. Come on, fish. That's a good size kingfish there. Wonder if my old cousin Shane will want one to cook in his brand new smoker that he just got. Hold it, hold, hold it. I gotta go, I gotta go front, I gotta go front. Oh, Jim Bass. Ah! There he is. Got him. Woo! That was close. That was a close the, one. The Minn Kota almost reeled that one in for us. Let me get this rod out of our way here. 
that he's hooked. Oh, you know, they always look bigger in the water. <laughs> the water does magnify. That and he was doing 30 miles an hour when he ate it. Letting this guy go? Yeah, we can let this guy go. We can get us a bigger one. Got him? Yes, sir. Well, then I'll get those pliers. And get them hooks out for you. I got some on my hip right there. Hey, watch it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Oh, look out! I'm sorry about that. Oh, Let's get this guy out of here. Blood. Get him back in quick. All right, toss him back. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, sir. Cool. And off he goes to the deep. Woo! Kingfish, Tampa Bay. The action out here. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Unbelievable. Oh, got sorry slime. about that slide. <laughs> Well, folks, let me tell you, Captain Chris Camps right here has done everything today. It is absolutely getting late in the day, wind's kicking up, and if you want to come fish Tampa Bay, make sure you give Captain Chris Camps here a call. Look him up on the website. What's your website? It's www.captainchriscamps.com. That's all you need to know. Uh, kind of took him out of his element today and took him out king fishing, so call him up and book him for a kingfish trip. That way oh, you know, I'll do it. That way he knows that y'all watch the show. So that about wraps it up, brother. One awesome day once again on the water with Thank you, you. once again. Hashtag show your mug and that about covers it, right? I think so. All right, we'll see y'all next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictedFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Why the Spanish mackerel? He speaks Spanish. There, there he is. is. Fish on, Fish baby. On. That there is called getting robbed. You'll see him in the wake right now. They come out when you grab them, they go, Wee! <laughs> <laughs>